the energy vibration reading for the Virgo Sun Moon and Rising sign. It is the first week of May 2018. The week begins from the 30th of April until the 6th of May. Um, the energy in this week is the energy of the hair, and the zodiac energy is the heart. So let's look and see what is coming out for you, Virgos, on Monday. You have um, the Queen of Cups in the reverse, the Queen of Cups in the reverse form. Okay, um, that means you're emotionally not really balancing out in the beginning of the week. Then we have the king of cups on Tuesday the king of Pentacles on Tuesday we have the energy of the king of Pentacles on Tuesday I love this king of Pentacles then we have um, the five of swords so there is a situation that has happened between um, you and this lady so it could be that some of you have decided to leave a relationship behind or this lady have decided to leave a relationship with you behind then we have the energy of um, a child coming in on Thursday and this is someone who could be bringing you love but it could be someone that you're having a conflict with and this is someone who is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion okay and um, this conflicts is between you and um, a situation that has to do with the Queen of Cups the energy of the lovers comes out and it's as if this Queen of Cups is coupled with you and it's your wife and it's as if she is turning her back on you so um, whatever is happening on a saturated energy of the ten of Pentacles comes this is positive this is good energy of the nine of Pentacles my excuses nine of Pentacles come and this is positive and good because your financial situation is going to be in balance so I'm seeing that there was a conflict with money so some of you who are married or in a long-term relationship could be having some conflicts with money with your partner and it's going to be okay on Sunday you have the energy of the six of swords and this energy of the six of swords some of you are leaving a situation behind so some of you could be getting divorced and um, going to decide just to give your wife whatever it is that she needs some of you could have a conflict with your children and your child decided I no longer wants to have a relationship with you because kids can do that okay they can decide um, you know because here is this conflicts with someone who is between the ages of 0 and 18 and they are deciding to move forward okay and it is best for them to do that whatever is transpiring in the in the beginning of the week with your relationship or your marriage not to worry because um, a new positive love new love is going to be coming in okay new love is going to be coming in so um, not to worry for the people who are going to divorce because in the um, beginning of the week some of you are going to decide to end your marriage but let's see if that's a good idea because um yeah money 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 is coming in for you Virgos a lot of money so um, or a lot of money are coming in for you Virgos because it could be that um, some of you come up with a lot of money and it's as if your partner wants more and you know there come a conflicts oh my god money is coming up for you guys this is a lot of money so you have um, the nine of Pentacles and the eight of Pentacles so um, whatever the situation is some of you are going to men are going to be connecting with the right business people and this is going to make things happen for you this is going to just be wonderful let's see what you what conflicts you are in you're in co conflicts with um, your partner most of you are in co conflicts with your business partner it could be someone who you work with at work but there there are conflicts that you are having with this person let's see what is this all about there's going to be art break there's going to be art break okay so obviously it's as if 
um, some of you have divorced or some of you have a financial situation that you're dealing with with your partners and the energy of this crowning of your week is a heartbreaks loss and heartbreak so let's see what is happening with this conflicts and this child it has to do with the king of wands okay so it has to do with an um an Aries a Leo or a Sagittarius and this person there is a conflict this person is, is, is standing there and having and making um a, and, and creating a situation between you and your kid and it is going to come to an end now and this is good the king of swords came in and said you know he's as if you know this is going to come to an end so some of you have been working very hard um, and whatever the situation is and whatever the conflicts is with money let's look what is happening you're going to be overcoming this you are going to be overcoming this and this is wonderful and positive because whenever a relationship is built only on money you always always see no matter how long it takes you always see it what I'm not liking here is um, a loss and the three of swords is always a loss a loss of money so we're going to be looking at that because whatever is happening between you and your partner and you and your wife or your long-term partner let's say you have been in and it's it's more of a divorce and money has to be paid out and it's as if some of you are saying no I'm not paying all of that I don't have it and that sort of a thing that is what is playing out but not to worry whatever the energies are there is going to be a positive positive outcome especially when it comes on to your financial situation okay so you have the ace of swords and the energy of positivity because you have overwin a situation you have overcome a situation and I want to ask why is it that you have the three the heartbreak with um, some of you are going to be having a heartbreak with someone okay and let it go let it go and I'm, I'm, I'm receiving this let it go so let's see what is the tree of heart that's all about the ace of Pentacles um, listen to your intuition and your you know some of you are going to be overworking yourself in this week you need to um, be balance because you're going to be overworking yourself because it's as if you're trying to build a new financial stability for yourself and this is making you feel overworked so be aware and be careful of what is coming in um the energy of the knight of ones this is an aries a Le leo or a sagittarius this seems and 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 the king of swords these two men seems to be making a lot of problems they seems to be um, stopping the flow of your financial situation and um, they're, they're trying to you know stop it but are they going to be doing that let's see the new start and but there is going to be help coming in okay so the Sun thank you so you guys have the energy of the Sun coming up into so because whatever is happening there is someone who is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius who is trying to break your stride okay and he is working alongside with the um, an Aquarius a Gemini or a Libra so let's see what is this all about because they're trying to um, three of one yeah these two are working together I'm not really liking these these three working together king of wands and the two of Pentacles so whoever these um, these but you're going to be victorious and thank you you are going to be victorious okay so it's the energy of uh, an Aries Leo or Sagittarius working together with an Aquarius a Gemini or a Libra and this is if they're trying to 
break your new start or whatever you're trying to do but they're not going to succeed okay they're not going to succeed because what comes out here is a positive energy and this is good because what is transpiring is that whatever they have tried to steal or stolen from you it's not going to happen because it's as if the universe is going to bring this back to you and this is going to be extremely positive it's as if they're trying to steal your energies so it's as if um, people can do that it's as if they're trying to break you and take your energies but it's not going to happen because it's as if the universal powers is going to be coming in and it's going to be um, removing that okay you're going to um, just ask the universal angels and guides to boost your energy with the sunlight so it can take it away because obviously there is these two people are trying to take your energies and this is going to come to an end okay this is going to come to an end so sometimes people feel tired and that sort of a thing and not understanding that people are working against them to take their energies and um, all you have to do is call upon the universal angels and guide and said um, please end this now you know um, please face me in a golden hag and you visualize this blue light around it and the protection and the power because these people are not going to um, get away with it because what you're seeing here is that they're trying to break your financial thing they're trying to break this they're trying to take your energies but take back your energies to say to the universe I'm taking back my energies from who these people are because what is that transparent is that they had no right to take my energies so you're going to take back your energies from who these people are and let them know that you are standing up to them and you are not backing down okay so um, obviously um, you 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 guys are really 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 um, going through some situation at this moment because it's as if these people are trying to work to take away your energies your energy and you're going to be standing up and said hell no you know um, you know no this is not going to happen because a lot of people are learning about energies now and they you know they're using it in the wrong position and stand up and call up an Archangel Michael the universal angels and guiding angels to come in and to break this um, spell or whatever they're trying to do um, against uh, and, and break their spell so that you can breathe and vibrate and um, you can bring back tell them to bring back your energy okay and um, this is going to be positive so whatever is happening is going to come to an end on Sunday it's just going to just flow out of your life so whatever that you felt lost or you felt as if your energy has been taken out because I'm seeing that some these people are doing it because they have to pay you some money both these men have to pay you some money and what they're doing is try to break your stride and take your energies but it's not going to happen because um, your the, the, the powerful energies of the universe is going to break it because the energy of the Sun comes in the energy of the Sun comes in and um, a new positive love and the energy of justice comes in so um, this is going to be good and um, the energy of the chariot so whatever that these two negative people um, are working with because they're, they're it's as if it, it can be thoughts or it can be that they they have something of you or some or your name or something but they're trying to use this to take your energy you know it doesn't matter what they do they still have to pay you this money because I'm seeing the ten of Pentacles the nine of Pentacles and you are going to be victorious and the energy your energy is going to be coming back okay so just call upon the universal angels and guides to return your energy and to break the stride of these negative people who are taking your energies and it's going to be okay I want to say to each and every one in this week we have release um, the fear of money you need to release the fear of money and know that you are always financial bless you are always financial bless so ask them to release that energy because you're always financial 
blessed okay so um, I want to say um, namaste until next week